Hello YouTube, uh, this is Chris. Today I am going to do a tobacco review on Yawathan Holographic Company number 20 Latakia mixture. Uh, this blend is a Lakeland blend. It is a predominantly Latakia English, it's an English blend, but it's from Lakeland over in the European continents. I don't know exactly where Lakeland is. I will do a little bit more research on it so I know better for next time. Um, this is a, I got it from pipesandcigars.com. In their bulk, I got a one ounce bag just to try. Uh, bag note is, uh, you can definitely tell there's uh, Latakia in it. Uh, Virginia, as you can tell, as you can see right here, there is Latakia, Virginia, oh, hang on, right, Turkish and Orientals right here, you can tell that kind of a little bit, it's kind of a bad angle, but, and because of the glare, because I'm outside, but I can't smoke inside, uh, uh, the moisture content in the bag is decent. I've got it. I had it two weeks. I received it when I did my uh, <coughs> Yabo, my first Yabo. And I told you to stay tuned for uh, the reviews. And this is one of the reviews that I'm definitely going to, uh, this is one of them that I was going to do. And let me uh, grab my pipe, light it up, and uh, Tell you, tell you my thoughts and my feelings on it, if I'll ever get it again. Uh, but before that, I have a uh, couple things I would like to do before I get to the review. First, a shout out to uh, Jimmy. I heard he uh, lost his friend. My prayers, condolences go out to you and yours through this time. Uh, when my mom and dad got rid of their dog due to uh, him chasing the mailman and fighting him, I was heartbroken when I found out. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a little shout out to him, letting him know that he is in my thoughts and prayers. But, a little bit of housekeeping. I am smoking this. Uh, the blend I'm reviewing in my stand well. Raw, authentic raw, 107 shape, straight billiard, courtesy of the recommendation from Pipe and Tobac, Giannis. Thank you for your uh, recommendations on a what shape I should go with. I have to say this pipe is amazing, but uh, Let's get to the uh, review. Uh, according to Pipes and Cigar or TobaccoReviews.com, it is manufactured from manufactured and distributed by Galvin and Hogarth and Company. It's their number twenty Latakia mixture. It's an English blend. It has uh, English, of course, or not English, scratch that, Latakia, or Latakia, both are correct. Um, it also has Oriental, Turkish, and Virginian. <coughs> the strength on it is uh, medium to full. I don't recommend any new pipe smoker unless you've been unless you've tried English blends before to uh, go out and, I mean go ahead and go out and buy this blend but work your way up to it it is a I feel it's kind of on the strong side especially if you haven't had anything to eat or uh, drink if you try to smoke this in the morning it's gonna throw you for a loop the uh, According to uh, TobaccoReviews.com, there is no flavoring 
like the taste, there's no flavoring detected. But when you do smoke it, you kind of get a hint, kind of a strong hint of, I mean, I get a hint of it. Some people are different. Some people get a bigger hint of a floral aspect to it. Uh, I just think that's because of where it's produced and manufactured. Uh, the uh, room note. I guess I don't know because I am I'm smoking it, but everybody that I know says it has a uh, pleasant to tolerable, and, accor and according to uh, TobaccoReviews.com, that's what they say too, and all the reviews on it on that website state that state the same thing. It is a uh, cool smoke. I mean, if you are a wet smoker when it comes to pipe smoking, um, I do recommend you uh, with any with any tobacco that you have. I recommend that you keep a pipe cleaner handy or a couple of them because yes, it this blend. If you smoke it too fast, it will uh, the tobacco juices and with your saliva and everything uh, will come up through the stem and it will kind of bite you a little bit if you're not careful so I recommend that you smoke it slow with any with any tobacco I recommend you smoke it slow but with this tobacco I would specifically recommend that you smoke it slow uh, I do recommend, like, for me personally, I will definitely be getting more of this. It's an acquired taste, though. Very acquired. Like, you don't want to be, you know, if you're used to smoking aromatics, you don't want to pick this up and just think, like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this and be fine. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be fine. Like, I don't smoke. Uh, Aromatics. There's a couple that I do that I've tried before, and I just aromatics just wasn't my thing. So I went straight to uh, English and non-aromatics when I first when I first started. So I kind of have a a little bit of uh, understanding. <coughs> but if you are a English person and you do love Latakia, I do recommend this blend. It's not as uh, Latakia forward like uh, right off the top of my head. There's Cornell and Beals, uh, Mississippi Mud, uh, Pirate Cake. Pirate Cake has a lot of Latakia in it, but it's also a good blend. Uh, what else? It, you know, it, if you smoke it slow enough, you'll smoke it all the way to the end, and it will get to, uh, uh, you can't really see it, but it's, it'll smoke all the way to white ash, and you, you may have just a little bit of a uh, dottle at the end, but if you, like I said, if you smoke it slow enough, you'll be, it'll, it'll smoke all the way through, and you won't have anything, anything really to worry about, uh, Taking a uh, couple words from uh, Stuff and Things, Bradley. He's a good guy. He has great content. I've been a subscriber of his for quite a while now. Uh, the blend itself, right out of the bag, has like it doesn't really have that much of uh, moisture to it. So, in his words, he calls that uh, Goldilocks. Which I do reckon, I do definitely say that this is a Goldilocks blend. Uh, now, if you have, 
if you probably get it in a tin form, it could kind of possibly need a little bit of uh, rest to where you know it dries out a little bit. Uh, that he he calls that uh, a moist towelette. So like if you take a moist towelette and you feel the moist towelette, how it has like the, how it can get a little wet. So that's I've heard that that's what the blend in the uh, tin gets, but since I got it in bulk and I've had it for two weeks, it's, you know, I keep it in a dry, cool, dark area where you should keep all your tobacco, and it's, since the first day I got it and I tried it, until now, it's, it's a blend I will recommend to uh, any semi-experienced or experienced uh, pipe smoker not a uh, new pipe smoker I would recommend this blend for like a brand new like oh I, I just picked up a pipe and wanted to start shotgunning blends the way I want to buy so many blends and find out what I like but you know give yourself some time especially if you're a new pipe smoker give yourself some time try other English blends understand the English blend itself and how each each uh, component plays a role. It is somewhat sweet-ish because of the fact that it does have the the uh, Virginias in it, but. I find that it, uh, the Orientals and the Latakia play a bigger role than the Virginias, but that's just, my, like, again, that's just my own opinion, but, uh, a couple shout-outs to uh, people I recommend for, uh, reviews and just their video content is superb. Uh, Stuff and Things, Bradley, great guy. His reviews are, I feel, great. Uh, matches, 860. He has wonderful reviews. He does not just uh, tobacco, but he also does other things. Um, uh, who else is there? Giannis, Pipe and Tobacco. He's a great guy. He has great content. Uh, another person that's on YouTube that has great content is uh, London is Colin with Simon. He's also a great guy. He has great content also. Uh, places, on another note, places where you can buy this uh, tobacco right here, this one. Like I said, I got mine from Pipes and Cigars. But you can also go to uh, SmokingPipes.com. has it also. TobaccoPipes.com, Four Noggins, uh, Irwin Reeves House also has it. Uh, I think the last time I looked, he had Irwin Reeves had uh, a little bit more on more blends from Dallas and Hobart. But that's pretty much it. Until we meet again. Uh, just enjoy life. Make sure your uh, pipes are clean, pipes are full. Smoke them slow. Cheers, Chris.